Hello everyone! I haven't done a favourites video in a couple of months because there's been nothing that I've particularly loved that much but this month there's been quite a few things I've absolutely loved so here are my May favourites. First up is a lip product that was featured in my Boots haul and it is the Revlon Colour Burst Matte Balm in 250 Standout and I just love the colour of this, it's like a dark reddy plummy sort of colour and I've worn this so many times this month and I absolutely love it, like the texture and it lasts ages, even when you've eaten it's still there, it's just really really good. There are two YouTube channels that I've been absolutely loving this month and they are Superfruit and Pentatonix. First of all I sort of discovered Superfruit because my boyfriend Luke who said oh the two of the guys from Pentatonix have started their own channel and it's quite funny so like have a watch of these. So me and him have been watching the Superfruit videos together and I absolutely love them, they're so funny. It's Mitch and Scott from Pentatonix and they are hilarious, I absolutely love their videos. And by watching those I started to say oh um, shall we watch some Pentatonix videos? And for so long, Luke has been showing me Pentatonix videos saying, oh, they're so amazing, and I've just sort of gone, yeah, they're all right, but not really listening or anything like that. But after watching Superfruit, I thought, oh, well, maybe I'll have a look at Pentatonix properly. And they are amazing. I didn't realise how good they are, and they're, they're just incredible. Like, everything they do is made for their voices, and I didn't really understand that before, but now I understand it, I am just amazed at how good they are. So, if, like me, you haven't realised the amazingness of Pentatonix and Superfruit yet, then I will link both channels below because it is incredible. I mean, the Daft Punk Pentatonix song, how have I not known about this before? It's got like millions and millions and millions of views on YouTube, and it somehow passed me by. So now I've found them, I am just loving watching all their videos and they've got the Pentatonix vlogs, they're so much fun to watch so if you haven't seen any of those then go and watch all of those three channels. As we are now coming up to summer I've started to want to fake tan again because I need to have tanned legs before I can get them out in a dress and a skirt and all of that so this month I've fake tanned quite a few times and um, the first one is the Rimmel London Sun Shimmer Instant Tan in Light Matte. This is the first fake tan I properly used. Before second year of uni I'd never fake tanned, I was too worried that it would go really orange and I'd look awful. And then my housemate said to me, well get this one because it washes off and I thought, perfect. It's really cheap, I think it's only about six or seven pounds and it washes off so if it goes terribly wrong you can just wash it off, it's fine. And it comes in three shades so I started on the fair and then moved up to the light and the light is perfectly fine it's the right perfect shade it doesn't need to go any darker for me personally and it's really easy to use you just put it on and then you can wash it off so it's i started using it for nights out of uni so i've been using this a couple of times when i've just needed a quick i'm going out somewhere i need tan legs so this is really good if you just want something cheap and quick and easy and works really well before I moved on to a more expensive permanent tan, after I started using that in second year of uni, um, I read so many reviews on blogs and the one that was coming up trumps with everyone is the Zen Tan. And I've been using this for about a year and a half and it's the most amazing tan. It's the Zen Tan Dark Lotion Absolute Luxe Ultra Dark and it's just the best tan. You put it on, sleep in it, I sleep in it my leopard print onesie so it doesn't go on my bed sheets and then next day you wash it off and it's the most amazing colour fades really well um, not orange at all and it's really 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 good so it is a bit more expensive it's I think it's £30 on Feel Unique but it's a really really good tan I'm actually running out of it so I need to get some more because I want to be tanned for my birthday so I need to get more of this so I can be nice and tanned for the summer so for a cheaper option go for this quick fix and for a more expensive long lasting go for this so I've been loving tanning myself this month one of my favourite things to do this month has been some baking and some cooking. I've decided I wanted to start getting into a bit more of cooking things and I'm more on the baking side but also dabble in a little bit of fresher cooking. But baking I've been absolutely loving this month and building up my collection of cookbooks. So I brought a couple of my favourite ones this month. First is the Home Baking Biscuits and Cookies and it's just, it's not got any pictures, it's just quite it's very plain just little illustrations and this is just basic biscuits and not basic but good biscuits so it's got all sort of things that you would know like custard creams and digestives and 
party rings and it's got the most amazing recipes in here I've made quite a few from here and they are so so good so I don't think you can get this online I got it in a Dobby's like garden centre and it's, it's only £4 so I've been really enjoying this baking book I've also been using this one quite a lot, particularly for one recipe, a lemon drizzle cake, because it is the most amazing lemon drizzle cake. But they've got some other really good recipes in there, so I've been loving this. This is the Great British Bake Off Learn to Bake, and I've been using this. I also got this, the I don't know how you say this properly, it's probably wrong, the Clandestine Cake Club Cookbook. And I bought it because it had all these amazing recipes, so like amazing looking in the pictures, so and sounding as well. So let me let me get a cheeky example. Where's all the pictures? Right, look, like violet posy cake. I think that looks pretty good. And then I have noted the ones that I wanted to make, so I'll get those out. Elderflower and cordial cake. Lemon meringue cake. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Ah, I really want to make that, but it looks quite hard. So, yeah, I bought this thinking, oh, it's an amazing book, it's an amazing book. And I decided I was going to try one of the harder ones. And went straight in with, where is it? Decided I was going to make one of the harder ones and went straight in with the blue velvet cake. And the description does say... Carla's work colleagues will happily testify to how many trial cakes it took for her to find the right shade. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know this went horribly, horribly wrong. So, at the moment, I'm not really sure about the recipes in this book because I've so far made two things from it and they've both not been that great. So I don't know whether I'm just doing it really wrong or the recipes aren't that on point, but it's a really good, like, experimentally cake sort of book. I don't know how to describe what I'm talking about, but let me find a good recipe that I thought was quite interesting. Um, like orange and white chocolate cake, I thought that sounded quite good. Cardamom rose and rhubarb cake, they've got some really good recipes in here, but I just need to try a few more before I'm convinced that this is a good recipe book. So this month I've basically been loving baking, trying new things and different things and it's officially my new favourite hobby so I'm not sure whether to do some more baking videos, I've done one already but I don't know whether to do any more baking videos if anyone would want to see those but yeah I've been absolutely loving baking. If you watch my Barcelona videos then you'll know at the airport me and mum got a perfume each and I got the Nina Ricci 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 perfume and I absolutely love it, it's an amazing smell just really fresh and fruity and I don't really know how to describe it. I did used to work in perfume so I should know about this stuff but it smells really really nice and I highly recommend it. <laughs> Other than that I don't know what to tell you because you can't, it's hard to describe a scent but yeah I'm really enjoying this. This month I've been having some of those TV marathon sessions and my TV show of choice has been One Tree Hill. This is the 8th series, I've finished watching this and now I'm moving on to the ninth series. I have all of the series on DVD and I have watched them all before and I absolutely love this show. It came out I think 2003, the first series, so I was 12 or 13 when I started watching it and I loved Chad Michael Murray, I used to have posts of him everywhere and I kind of still have those posters so I might give you a little sneak peek into my wardrobe where I have my posters how sad is that? So this is my wardrobe and inside <laughs> ignore the pictures of me but I have my posters of Chad, Michael Murray and then inside the other cupboard there are a couple more posters of Chad Michael As you can see boys of 2005 so I've owned these posters since 2005 I used to have them up on my walls but decided I didn't want to get rid of them so I would put them inside my wardrobe hidden away so I could still have the delights of Chad Michael Murray <laughs> But I absolutely loved Chad Michael Murray and it's just it's such a romantic program I know all this stuff happens that's like bad in it but just the amount that like, Nathan and Hayley love each other, it's just dreamy and 
I'm gushing quite a bit over this show, but I love this. So yeah, I've been watching a lot of One Tree Hill. If you read my blog then you'll know about the next couple of things that I'm going to show you. But if you don't read my blog then I'll leave a link to it in the description box. But basically this month I have been getting back on the sewing bandwagon, so to call it. But I am a serious non-finisher, basically. I have started so many sewing things and not completed them. I did textiles for GCSE, A level, I went to college and did it and I didn't continue doing it at uni, I did more of the promotion side of fashion. I still love sewing and everything like that, so everything at school I finished, but then outside of school I never really finished anything. And I started a dress at the end of first or second year, so this is like three or four two or three years ago, around that, I'm not really sure, and I started this dress, picked a pattern, thought, picked a fabric, thought oh my god this is going to be amazing, it's going to be so good, and then I got stuck on the sewing part of it and my mum couldn't figure it out, my nan couldn't figure it out from the pattern, and they have been sewing for years so none of us could figure it out and I just gave up, but this summer I got my, got my sewing machine for my graduation last year for my mum and my nan, and I've been since then I've been wanting to sew more and more so I started something last summer as well and didn't finish that so this past month I've been like right I'm finishing these things it's not going on any longer that I unfi not unfinished that's is that a word that I don't finish stuff so we were going through our fabric basket of everything that we've got and lurking the bottom was said outfit that I tried starting two or three years ago and I said right I'm going to finish this so with a lot of help from my mum I actually finished my first thing and it is this dress and it's the pattern was quite long I've made it sort of just under my knee length so if you want to see this on it's on my blog so my blog link will be in the description box but yeah it's got this like car print on it and it's just like a full skirted dress, sleeveless with a collar and I'm just so proud of it, I mean there's nothing more rewarding than like seeing that you made something so I'm really proud that I made this so even though it's taken me like two or three years to finish, it's finished so yeah, I am in love with my new dress that I made myself the second piece of sewing that I have finished, so I started this last summer and got a bit stuck again and gave up but I said no I'm gonna finish this and it was my cousin's baby's christening last weekend of May so I said right I'm gonna aim to finish it for then so I can wear it to Oscar's christening and I finished it and I'm really proud of it so the other thing I've made is this and it is it's a two-parter it's a pink blazer with matching shorts so it's like a pink short suit. So again, if you want to see it on, there's pictures of it on my blog, which is linked in the description box. And nothing like a good plug for my blog. And um, yeah, I made this. So it's not lined or anything. I'm not that sophisticated. But I'm really proud of it. So this is my pink check short suit that I made. The final thing is a pair of shoes. It is these Miss Selfridge babies. And they were... £39 I think, I'm not sure. I wore these in my pink suit to Oscar's christening and I love them. I spotted them on um, a girl who I follow on Instagram, her name is Kaylee, and I follow her blog which is Couture Girl so I'll link her blog in the description. She posted a picture on Instagram of these and I thought oh my god I want those so much. So I went on Miss Selfridge and cheekily ordered them for myself because I thought they're the perfect nude shoe that for the summer to go with everything because nude goes with everything and I liked the white chunky heel, I thought they were really nice. So yeah, I ordered these and I absolutely love them, they go with so much and I can see me wearing these a lot in the summer. So big fan of these. So that is the end of my May favourites and as usual a complete random selection of stuff. I never seem to have much order, a lot of people do like beauty and seem to have lots of beauty things but I just have a complete random jumble of stuff. So hopefully you enjoy my random jumble and ramble of things I've been loving and if you like this video then give it a thumbs up, 
and if you're not subscribed to my channel then please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!